everyone welcome to job skill share today i'm making a video on surface pro 3 this is just a raw video a rough video where we just got the new surface pro 3 and i'm turning it on setting it up for users and if you are in the same situation where you want to look at surface pro 3 this is a good video for you so you will basically get a charger with it and just plug that charger and plug it in the side it's on the right side um it should just go in like that and you'll see a light will come up so it's charging right now and I clicked on English right there uh, that's the language that I'm going to be using uh, specific time I'm going to change that to Eastern that's where I am here and then I'm going to click on next then you have a license agreement here and they'll say accept uh, then you have a pen right there. It says the seven seconds battery searching for Bluetooth. Now I haven't set this up right now. I'm not gonna use that. So we're gonna basically skip that part. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get a battery. Let's just do that. So I'm gonna plug this battery in there. I'm gonna hold this top button just like they're saying, and then it's going to connect that. Okay. So basically, I delayed on you know holding this in for seven seconds so then if you see this message just click on next and then you get the personalized just like Windows 8 one uh, you will name this computer so you will you will give it a name whatever name that you want to give it to this um, for a user it depends how your company have naming uh, policy so I'll do that right now and click on next okay and then I click on Next, and then you get your Wi-Fi, um, and then basically you connect your Wi-Fi first so they can get updates. But sometimes, if you have like a docking station, you can connect your uh, Surface Pro, and then also use a LAN connection, which might be a little bit faster for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi, and then I'm gonna do the other steps. Okay, so sometimes your Wi-Fi might not work. I mean, I tried it; it didn't work. So you can skip this step, and we'll come back to this step later on. Uh, then basically you have this settings. I always use use express setting and then we can basically go in uh, and change it later on. So you will need to give an administrator account, a local administrator account for this. For example, if something happened to domain account, um, and then you can want to go back to the local administrator to troubleshoot this um, device, then you can do that by using this account. And this also depends on a company if they use something uh, for their administrators to uh, or help this guys to kind of troubleshoot things okay so then I'm just logging in right now as a local user so there you go the first look of surface pro 3 it's up now and let's go to the desktop and there is your basically just like you're in Windows 8 kind of uh, desktop look um, and like I said we had to come back and turn on our Wi-Fi again so you can click on that Wi-Fi and then try Wi-Fi over here okay so as you can see on the bottom now I'm connected so if I go to internet so the first a uh, link basically is for Surface Pro 3 um, and it actually gives you some of the information right here uh, what do you need to know uh, pretty good information setting up emails every single thing is uh, right here if you're new to setting up Surface Pro 3 or Surface Pro any of the two ones um, we're gonna go ahead and minimize this after this setup it's basically up to your company how they set up their devices after this I'm going to add this computer to a domain just like normal desktop we add it to a domain uh, and then it's being managed by a system administrator or anyone that manages all your systems now a home computer you will basically use this with this username and password um, just like home user but it's more to when you have these in an IT environment uh, businesses offices or anyone that uses Surface Pro 3 uh, you have to manage these and that's something we're going to create another video to show you guys how to manage um, Surface Pro 3 uh, uh, users and everything from uh, system administration side. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. This was just a quick a rough video for someone who just wanted to look 
at Surface Pro 3 and first time turning on and everything. So thank you for watching this. Bye.